Hi, I have a paper plate here. I have two sides on it. This one's about my son. He is a natural at thinking, using his Tai Chi Chuan, giving food to others. I always remember when he was able to walk, maybe two or three years old, and on top of the fridge we had the cookies and he said he wanted cookies just by pointing right so I picked him up he grabbed the, the like a hug tree hug and then I showed him how to open the cap and he would take out a cookie but then he would take off the cap himself then he would take out a cookie and give me one then he'd take out another cookie and bite it and he wouldn't close it he would just <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy was way different. Something that I didn't have to teach him. He's going to be way better than I am. What have I given him? Confidence. Uh, one time he was singing a song. This is like when he was four. Mama says, no, Daniel says, yes. Mama says, no. And it's also like that. He calls me Daniel because I never wanted him to have that fear of me, which he doesn't. The daughter is not afraid either. Now, in some ways, it's very disrespectful. Sometimes they are disrespectful. Or not, not him, but the daughter. So, the way I deal with her is I stay in this room and eventually... She'll need me for something. Like the other day she needed me to go babysit her so she could go to the park. Because uh, she's not allowed to go by herself. So as long as it's an activity that I like, I'll go. I mean, if she wants to go shopping, then I'm not going. Alright, so my son. His talents are logic. Many times I start a sentence and I don't finish it. Good children brush their, and he already knows the word is teeth. <laughs> All right. Four. He, oh, three. He is good at Tai Chi Chuan because we both like it. I mean, it's almost a, a joke. Like, he knows what I'm going to kick. He knows how I'm going to punch or what I'm going to do next. A couple of times we punched each other. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> he knew what I was going to do and he surprised me or something. Uh, he did the same thing. <laughs> uh, he thinks it's number four. He thinks it's important to please his teacher at school. All right. Now, of course, I don't. Uh, I have issues with trust. I, I don't trust people. I don't trust my mother. I don't trust my spouse. I don't trust the police. I don't trust family. I don't trust friends. I don't trust strangers. Uh, so I don't trust co-workers. One time a co-worker I was, I was the cleaning man. I, I was supposed to clean. And he told me to clean something. And I was doing something else, so I didn't get to it. And then when I got to it, he showed me how he was cut because he fell. And he said, you didn't clean the floor like I asked you to. And look, I fell. And he was very aggressive, right? But he didn't take a step towards me. He was younger than me. <laughs> And so, instantly I said, I didn't get here in time to clean this. And I was also with a loud voice. In order for you, I didn't get here in time for you for, to clean this before you fell the first time. But I will clean it now so that you don't fall again. <laughs> he looked at me, he was almost about to start laughing. He says, I'm not going to get up there again. <laughs> I'm not going to climb up. He was using stilts. 
He was doing something either on the walls or on the ceiling. <laughs> it was comical. I remember. Uh, you see, co-workers, they could do so many things, you know. So many things. I remember another one that was the driver, right? Uh, and the guy in the back seat, I mean, it was after work, right? I got a ride from him. He bought a Corona, uh, a beer. And the guy from the back seat gave it to him, and he's driving. And then, of course, I'm thinking, uh-oh, another guy that's going to be a... Uh, you know get me in trouble or or you got to minimize all of these things I mean people they just that's drinking and driving uh, so I told the spouse about it now this is the second time all right that it happens in my life because the first time I got uh, I was working as a security guard and they were drinking for New Year's and so I got sent to another another uh, condo they don't ship them out they ship me out I didn't take pictures right and they have proof and they had been there longer now this other guy he was drinking and driving but taking me home but the thing is um, I was thinking I could report him and then the the wife says nah don't do that spouse right don't do that <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna get rid of you <laughs> you're the last one in it oh well so I don't fit in. But anyway, back to my son. He thinks it's important to please his teacher at school. And I'm like, who's she? You know, or who's he? Who's who's that teacher? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, how do I know they don't have a son that's a drug addict? Because I met another teacher. Uh, she was retired. She had problems with her stomach. So she couldn't get a job anymore. Uh... I mean problems where she has to go to the doctor and things like that and so she told me how her son was 30 or 25 or something and he was a drug addict and so she had moved from one state to another because she couldn't deal with a drug addict son now she was a teacher and she also told me how when her husband used to yell at her he was a lawyer that didn't move out of state by the way he would come visit her but he wouldn't move he still lived with you got to pass this Florida, I mean, if you live in Florida, you got to pass this bar exam. And he didn't want to take it again. I mean, it's been, what, 30 years at the other state. He doesn't want to come over here and take the test again. So, so he stayed uh, in California. And she mentioned how her husband, the, the lawyer, used to yell at her. So she used to take him to McDonald's and say to him, all right, start yelling, please. Start yelling. <laughs> But he wouldn't yell at McDonald's. Uh, it's amazing how I'm gonna have to start walking around with those things. Cause if I say something to the spouse, like she said, you know, nobody's done the dishes. And I said, that's right. Nobody has done the dishes. <laughs> oh, and she blows up on me. She said, when are you gonna start doing the dishes? And I used to say, I'm a U.S. citizen. I don't have to do dishes. But I don't do that anymore because that could get me Baker acted. You know, she gets too upset. But what I do now is, I say, when my daughter is ready to... <laughs> this pillow is really not comfortable. <laughs> when my daughter is ready to, to do the dishes with me, that's when I'll uh, do the dishes. Not by myself. So that's one of my talents. I love working in teams even though I don't trust people right now but I, I'd select my team like doing dishes with my daughter that would be all right it's safe I wouldn't get hurt she wouldn't start drinking on me you know <laughs> all right uh, five my son he is the happiest when he is playing with the dog or playing with Daniel and he has a couple of friends but I told him that his friends are gonna leave him as soon as they get girlfriends I already warned them because that's what happened with me. It's like, uh, back then, you know, nobody had cell phones. And so, come on, let's go outside. And then my friend would say, Alfredo, let's go outside. And, and, and let's go 
go ride our bicycle or back then I had a car so let's go uh, let's go get gas you know all the way to Indiana from and it was right next door to the state it was like maybe 10 cents cheaper and he would say no nah, no nah, I'm waiting for a phone call I'm waiting for a phone call what <laughs> waiting for a phone call he said yeah I met this girl and in case she calls I have to answer the phone you're waiting for a phone call. You're waiting for a phone call. <laughs> he probably married her. Who knows? He was waiting for a phone call. So, like, could he come outside? Life is interesting, huh? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, I guess you guys don't have to wait for a phone call now, huh? This is modern technology. Uh, you don't have to get your mother to answer the phone. Because uh, my mother used to chase away whoever called. Hello, may I please speak to Daniel? Don't call here. I'm like, man, mean. So, all of these therapists on TV, on YouTube, they say that the kids they would go underground if you don't encourage them to have friends however I never went underground I was underground meaning that they would do their friendships in secret they would rebel I never rebelled uh, the first time I rebelled I was 19 when the girlfriend said spend the night it was because her parents weren't home well, her dad was dead, but uh, she also didn't want to be in the house all by herself. So I called my mom and said, I'll, I'll spend the night. She said, no, you won't. Get over here. So I said, yes, I am. So <laughs> that was the first time I was rebelling eh, about that. Then this girl dumped me. That broke my heart. I took her canoeing when I was 23 or so because she came to visit Florida. She had uh, arthritis. Say, how, how many years was that? That was only, uh, I was 19 to 23, five years later or something like that. You know, do the math somehow. Uh, and she had arthritis. She was 10 years older, so she was 33. Wait a minute couldn't have been at that time when did I go canoeing with her but it was before I knew there were alligators <laughs> and I just told her if it flips over just grab onto the canoe she couldn't swim and she also had very heavy uh, if you've never been in a canoe before she could have flipped us over you know? <laughs> she kept taking us into the trees and finally I told her she said, stop yelling at me. And I said, all right. I didn't know I yelled in canoeing. Uh, she said, uh, can you just rest? And we just got out of the bushes, we pedaled back, and we ended up in the middle somewhere, and we were just resting, coasting. Man, I didn't know there were alligators in Florida. I said, eh, they don't have lions here. They get rid of those. You know, they don't put them in a zoo somewhere. They have snakes. They have alligators. Now I'm thinking about when I do build this boat and go canoeing and so on with my son. Perhaps my daughter will go. Yes, we're going to have life vests and all those things, but we're probably going to go right along the shore. And not to the big one. That big one, I was there one day that the storm came by. Those waves were as big as the ocean waves. I mean, they were like, whoa, you know, like pick this bed and put it up on the ceiling and back down, you know. And the boats started coming in at good speed. They were just coming in and, and getting out of there. And those were regular sized boats. What are they, what, 20 foot boats? The one I'm going to build is probably an eight footer, maybe less. 
It's got to be big enough to hold us, us two persons. All right. Enjoy your life. Be better than I am.